What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. Today, I'm going to talk about going to a community college as a pre-med student. So, what do I think about it? Some suggestions for you guys and some other advice. So, uh, stay tuned. What's up everyone, Dr. Webb here. If you guys already haven't, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I put out each week. I'm going to talk about community colleges and pre-med students or even pre-nursing students or pretty much any kind of college degree. Um, when I went to college, check out my video about kind of my kind of college career and path and I'll put it right up here. But in college, I started off at a community college here in San Antonio. I was in the military, working full time in the military, and then I decided to go to a community college because the flexibility and the ease of going to a community college was simply, it was, it was simpler than going to a university. Uh, what I do want to mention was that when you go to a community college, which I suggest that you do, it saves you a lot of money. Uh, going to a four-year year university can be really expensive, and you can save on tuition costs by going to a community college. Another advantage it, going to a community college is that your classes are smaller. When I went to transfer from the community college to a university, my classes for like cellular, uh, cell biology, uh, genetics, general biology, chemistry, maybe three, 400 students. So your classes could be very big, a lot of students. So it's really hard to get to know your professor on a one-on-one -on -one scale. It's, um, the classes are so large that it's hard to answer, ask questions during class if you had one, or if you had one after class, uh, go up to the professor, but there's a line of 30 other students trying to get to that professor. So, um, Going to a community college allows you to have smaller classes, and the class is more intimate. You can ask your, your professor questions, you can meet with them on certain things, because they don't have 400 students to take care of. They have, I don't know, 30, 50, something like that. So, the first reason I would suggest going to a community college is because of the class size. The second is for tuition. Um, the tuition is a lot cheaper if you go to a community college. So. One thing that I regret doing is looking at the financial costs of things when I was going through. I was just taking classes because the military would pay for it when I was on active duty. So I was 100% tuition paid. So, But for those of you who are not in the military, you have to take that into consideration. Uh, the third thing uh, that people would say is a downside is that the medical schools would look that would look bad if you transfer from a community college or if you take your sciences at a community college, and that's false. You can take your sciences anywhere, but they do take a look at where you take them, and they do hold that into some type of uh, regard when, when applying, but I don't think that justifies the cost. I wouldn't take a class at you know, a four-year university and pay 10000 for that class. I just made that number up versus $1,000 at a community college just because I think the admissions committees will look at the university grade and hold it in a higher weight. I don't think so. If you had all A's at a community college versus someone who had all A's at a university or let's say C's, the A's at a community college is going to look better. So, Go to a community college, it will save you money. Your classes will be smaller. You can, you can, you can get more up and close and personal with your professor. You can get letters of recommendation and all these other things. And also, I think um, it, it allows you to be a better student because you're more focused in a smaller space, a smaller environment. Uh, so that's what I would suggest doing. I started off at a community college my first two years of college and then transferred to a university. You can always contact the university that you want to go to eventually and say, hey, will these credits transfer just to make sure. But that's my thoughts. This is Dr. Webb.
thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. Also, in the description below is an email sign up. If you guys want to stay in touch with me, receive tips and suggestions and recommendations that I personally use or personally do, enter your email address below in the description so we can stay in touch. We'll see you next time.